I gave you a reflection about the healing of the leper just about a week ago. So for today, I would like to focus on our first reading, which is a very tragic story. It is a story of defeat for Israel in their battle against the Philistines. And what was it that led to their defeat? Well, they insulted God by using the Ark of the Covenant as their lucky charm while fighting their battle with the hope that the Ark of the Covenant would bring them good luck and lead them to victory. Instead of bringing them good luck, it brought them, brought them bad luck. And we need a little background to understand kung bakit. Well, remember yesterday, we read from the previous chapter of the same book, first book of Samuel. And we read the story of the young altar server, Samuel. We heard the fascinating story of a young boy who was awakened four times in his sleep by a voice that he did not know came from God. Three times, the boy Samuel kept going to his master, Eli, the priest, thinking that it was the old man who was calling him. It was not until the fourth call that Samuel responded properly to the call upon the instruction of his master, Eli. He said, Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. And the Lord spoke to him. The story that we read yesterday ended that way. If you were listening very carefully to the story, well, you should have reacted. And you should have said, and then what? Anong sinabi ni God? Kay Samuel, what did God say to Samuel? Sa Tagalog, ang tawag natin sa ganyang kwento, bitin. Pambihira naman, bitin ang istorya. Meaning, the story is left hanging. I would have expected today's first reading to begin where yesterday's story was interrupted, but unfortunately, it does not. It proceeds immediately to the battle of Israel with the Philistines, which ends in a tragic defeat. So, let me fill up the gap. Ano ang sinabi ni Lord? What did God say to the young boy Samuel? Well, the story in chapter 3 actually tells it. Pinutul nga lang. It was omitted yesterday. We are told that the old priest Eli waited until the following morning to confront the boy. He said to the young man, What did the Lord say to you? But the message was not a good news at all. That is why the boy was reluctant to tell the old man. But, kinulit siya. Pinresure siya. So, he said it anyway. And the message was a warning. The warning is God was very displeased with the corrupt, arrogant, and violent behavior of the sons of of his master Eli, the two sons, Hophni and Pinehas. They were the ones who were about to succeed Eli in leading the Israelite people. But did the old father Eli listen to the message? Did he heed God's message and, and, and discipline his sons? In there, he did not. He just allowed them to carry on with their wickedness, with their corrupt ways. In short, 
he was an enabler. So fast forward naman tayo to our reading today. Eli is now quite old already. And his sons have taken over the leadership in Israel. Abay sila yung aggressive type who are too eager to kill and to destroy their enemies, the Philistines. Mahilig sa giyera. But when they realized that their enemies were having the advantage over against the Israelites, aba nag-iisip sila ng solusyon. And what was the solution? To carry the Ark of the Covenant with them in battle and to use it as their agimat, their lucky charm against the enemies. And the result is tragic. They lost miserably. 30,000 of the Israelite soldiers got killed in battle according to the story. Now, question. Did the Lord forsake them? Answer? No. It was they who had forsaken the Lord. They behaved like pious worshipers carrying the Ark of the Covenant on their shoulders. But they were actually desecrating it by turning it into an object of superstition, a lucky charm, or a talisman, a gimat, to bring them good luck, or an idol venerated in the pagan style. Kuminsan, we also tend to commit this ourselves, you know? We better be careful. The wicked sons of Eli even had the goal to act as the carriers, the bearers of the Ark of the Covenant in the war. And yet they themselves were violators of the covenant. They were never interested in keeping the faith or in being faithful to the covenant. They killed, they lied, they stole, they worshipped their own power, wealth, and prestige. They venerated the Ark of the Covenant, but they insulted God with their wicked ways and were unfaithful to the covenants. Well, another way of putting it is, the Lord was with them, but they were not with the Lord. The Lord had sent them a prophet to warn them, but they did not listen to the prophet. They had become very stiff-necked, very hard-headed and hard-hearted. They were very religious, but very immoral and unspiritual in their ways. Dear brothers and sisters, when we go through difficult times, like this pandemic, and we feel like lamenting to God and asking why He has forsaken us, perhaps we should imagine the opposite. God lamenting and asking us why we have forsaken him.